Regina Public Library. Uh, following up on my video about don't judge a book by its cover, I thought it might be fun to totally judge a book by its title. Sometimes the title just speaks to you and you know nothing about the book, but it makes you want to pick it up and read it or look into it further. So I handed our lists out to uh, various staff members and they all chose books based solely on the title without knowing anything about it that might appeal to them to read. So I thought it would be fun to share those with you. So to start with is the book that inspired me to do this video. Hum, if you don't know the word, is such a delightful title. It was a, a book club selection that we had done. Um, it's a great read. It happens to be about apartheid, so not a, a necessarily lyrical subject as the title implies. A debut book by a Canadian author um, and the uh, second book has an equally appealing title. It has just come out. It's called If You Want to Make God Laugh. It is a good read and it takes um, kind of a positive spin, but uh, 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 it is about apartheid in South Africa. Then we have processed cheese. So this is a satire. It's tagged as being darkly funny, a uh, satire of American consumerism. So uh, probably a fun read. Bring me the head of Quentin Tarantino. Um, it's a collection of stories by a Mexican writer, um, and it depicts the violence and corruption that plague Mexican society today. So, uh, a, a, a fun title. Loons for Outlaw Harps and Old Whores. And I thought, this is either a Western or Noir. It turns out it is Noir. The cover even looks Noir. Um, it's an Italian author in translation, and it just covers undercover operations and transnational crime. From Christopher Paolini to Sleep in a Sea of Stars. It just has such a dreamlike title, a very appealing title. It is a um, sci-fi, um, a space voyager living her dreams uh, um, of exploring new lands who... Uh, on a distant planet and uh, finds a planet ripe for colonization um, and uh, in the course of that discovers a mysterious relic that uh, will transform her life and threaten the entire human race. So quite sci-fi for Paolini rather than fantasy. Um, so a uh, delightful title. Christopher Moore, always known for his funny books, New York Times bestselling author, um, uh, takes a character from his previous books, Fool and Serpent of Venice, and puts him in a, a very entertaining um, mystery based on uh, Shakespeare's Midsummer's Night, Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, and the title, of course. <laughs> Shakespeare for Squirrels. And then we have Like Rum Drunk Angels. Just a fun title. This is a retelling of Aladdin as an American Western. This is The Faceless Old Woman Who Secretly Lives in Your Home by two um, New York Times bestselling authors who are the uh, creators of the hit podcast about um, the village of Night Vale. It's well, they, they wrote Welcome to Night Vale and It Devours, another title that was actually chosen. Um, and it's going to be a, a book that's hard to describe, to pin down. It's, it's uh, described as funny and terrifying, which combination makes me kind of want to read it. <laughs> Something that's funny and terrifying at the same time and unpredictable. Um, and a slice of swashbuckling history. So this one might be fun if you're familiar with that podcast. Uh, you probably have a better sense of it. And um, sounds like an intriguing read. Certainly an intriguing title. And Kiss My Cupcake. Kiss My Cupcake is um, uh, sort of described as a smartly 
plotted and perfectly executed rom-com with a spot-on sense of snarky wit and a generous helping of smoldering sexual chemistry. It's basically about the competition between two small business owners. And another book with a lovely title, Violet Bent Backwards Over the Grass. Violet Bent Backwards Over the Grass is actually a debut book by American singer-songwriter Lana Del Rey, and it is her collection of poetry. Suitable for Poetry Month. And another book that sounds kind of noir, The Lady in the Car with Glasses and a Gun. Um, this is actually a noir. It's a suspenseful uh, story set in the south of France. You are eating an orange. You are naked. That's the title of this uh, debut Canadian author. Uh, this is a book by a debut Canadian author of the Asian community. Um, Shung King. It's described as lyrical and punctuated at the same time and wholly unique. And in looking at what it's about, I had a, a hard time trying to boil this into one, one sentence. Um, it's really about two lovers with kind of a comic and enigmatic relationship um, who fall into telling each other folky tales. So kind of an odd uh, book to describe. Um, I've been getting lots of buzz, though, and a wonderful title. And this one, You Will Love What You Have Killed. Uh, one of our still great covers that came in. Um, it's the winner of the Quebec Booksellers Prize. It's a translation from a, a French-Canadian. It's set in Chicoutimi. It's uh, surreal and darkly comic. And it's a basically about the revenge of murdered children in this one, in Shikudami. And to close, just because I thought the title was delightful, Life in the Sloth Lane. Turns out to be a little book, Life in the Sloth, Sloth, Sloth Lane, Slow Down and Smell the Hibiscus. And it's just a little kind of daily sayings book um, with, with great pictures of sloths. Rather endearing, and then just sort of a, a saying, an inspiration for the day. So just a quick little book, but I enjoyed that title. So those are just some of the ones that captured our attention, just totally based on the title. Um, hopefully, we'll inspire you to pick up one or two, and I'd love to hear in the comments some books that you've read that the title just grabbed you, and that's what you drew you to it. So um, enjoy and we'll see you again.